Swamp fans, welcome to our Facebook Live broadcast presented by our partners from Piedmont Natural Gas, Duke Energy, and NC811. Since 1978, North Carolina 811 has provided you a fast and easy communications link with your local utility providers. If you are interested in excavating in your area but worried what is below you, Call North Carolina 811. Calling 811 is a free service that gives utility location information to anyone in need prior to excavating. NC 811 then contacts member facilities such as Piedmont Natural Gas and Duke Energy who have three days to mark the utility locations within the excavation area or notify the excavators that there is no conflict. Call 811 before you dig. Time now for our medical update presented by Murphy Wainer, the official team orthopedics of your Greensboro Swarm. Murphy Wainer, proud partners of the Greensboro Swarm. The physicians treat a broad scope of diseases, injuries, and impairments of bones, joints, ligaments, muscles, and nerves. Murphy Wainer is in their second season with the Swarm, and led by Dr. James Carmer. Dr. Kramer and team provide great care for our athletes and our players, and are, they're in good hands as we enter this season. For more information about Murphy Wainer, please call 336-375-2300 for more information. For the medical report, Pat Barber questionable entering tonight due to a concussion protocol. Time now for the starting lineups, brought to you by Family Friendly Dentistry, the official team dentist of your Greensboro Swarm. And the starting lineups, first for the Grand Rapids Drive, it's Kay Felder, Marcus Simmons, Jamel Morris, Zeke Upshaw, Landry Noko. For the Swarm, Marcus Page, Damian Wilkins, John Dawson, Mango Mathiang, and Sam Thompson. The Swarm come in with a record of 13 and 24 on the year, putting off a 98 to 88 win on Wednesday at the Lakeland Magic. The Swarm, third place in the Southeastern Division, 12th place in the Eastern Conference standings. For the Grand Rapids Drive, they come in winners of six straight games, 20 and 18 record overall, coming off a 122-113 win against the Memphis Hustle back on February. 11th. This is the first of three meetings between the two teams this season. They'll play again here in Greensboro on March 10th and again at Grand Rapids on March 23rd. The drive wearing the white uniforms with the red and blue trim going from left to right as we do it in the first half of play and the swarm wearing all black uniforms tonight with some slight teal trim. Landry Milko jumping center circle against Mango Mathieng at the Swarm, referee in the center circle at the toss and the tap, and is controlled in the backcourt by the Swarm, and they have the opening possession of this game, going from right to left, Marcus Page, top of the key, guarded by Kay Felder, man to man defense by the drive, motion prim of the game by the Swarm, injury pass down low, left block is Wilkins, cross courts at right elbow to Mathieng, drives inside of the right hand, and lays it in off the glass, Mango Mathieng. In the first two points of the game, 2-0 Swarm on, 1135 to go first quarter. On the other end, it's the drive going from left to right. Landry Noko up top now to seek up shy. He's got to buy Jimmy and Wilkins. Ali Uplop down low there. Landry Noko for the jam. Ali Uplop to Noko. His first two points of the game. We're tied at 2, 11-19 to go. In the first quarter, here's Page across the timeline, bounce pass, left wing to John Dawson. Injury pass, down low, left short corner, it goes to Wilkins, puts a move on his defender, drives inside on Simmons, layup is missed, but he's fouled, he'll head of the line, and shoot two, that fouls on Marcus Simmons, and that's his first, it's team foul, number one. So Damian Wilkins, who was acquired by the Swarm a couple of weeks ago, has been an incredible addition to this club. Played last year for the Swarm as well. First foul shot for Wilkins goes up and in. That's his first point of the game. He's a 93% free throw shooter this year for the Greensboro Swarm. Second shot on the way with the right hand. It goes in again. He has two. Swarm two and two at the line. 4-2. Swarm by two. 11 5 to go. First quarter. Here's Kay Felder across the timeline. Setting up the offense on the point. Between the rings is no go. Angle dribble to the left side. He hands it off to Kay Felder. Felder stumbles and he got tripped. Tripped by John Dawson. Or is it a kicked ball? Kicked ball violation, not not a foul on John Dawson. Instead, a kicked ball violation. They'll reset the shot clock to 14 seconds. Drive ball inbounding on the far sideline. Here's Kay Felder between the rings. One-on-one -on -one against John Dawson. Between the rings now up front to Noko. Right of the circle, Jamel Morris. Drives inside. Skip pass up top to Upshaw for a three-pointer. Short. Rebound control by the Swarm. 
Sam Thompson across the timeline to Dawson. Dawson rips the pass, left wing to Page. Page dancing on the dribble, top of the circle, launches the left-handed three, leaves a short rebound by Marcus Simmons for the drive. Up the floor he goes, driving down the lane, out of control, missed the shot. Rebound controlled by Dawson with a swarm. Over to Page. Page flies across the timeline, setting up the shot on the point for the swarm. Stops at the foul line, 15-foot jumper is good for Marcus Page. His first two points of the game, 6-2, swarm by four, 10-13 to go, first quarter. Drive ball from right to left to right. Here's Felder driving. Left corner to Morris. Up top to Upshaw. Fires up a three. On the way. And it's good. Zeke Upshaw. His first points of the game. 6-5. The swarm lead. Cut to one. Inside of 10 minutes to go. First quarter. Marcus Page inside the half-court stripe. One hands the pass. Left side to Thompson. Back to Page. Left wing. He thought about the shot. Up top it goes to Thompson. Drives down the lane. Floating left-handed. Shot goes in for... Sam Thompson, his first two points of the game, 8-5, swarmed by three, here at home, 9.40 to go, first quarter. Here come the drive from left to right. It's Felder at the left elbow to Noko. He's got it by Mango Mathiang, off the screen, up top to Morris, long 17-foot jumper, missed. Rebound controlled by Dawson for the swarm. Outlet pass to Wilkins. He'll jog the dribble across the timeline for the swarm. Wilkins one-on-one against Simmons, drives down the right alley to the lane, layup off the glass, and good! Terry Wilkins' his first basket of the game is fourth point. It is 10-5, swarmed by five. With 9.09 to go, first quarter. On the right side of the floor, Marcus Simmons. He's got it by Damian Wilkins. Takes Damian into the lane. Left-handed scoop shot off the glass and lays it in. Marcus Simmons, his first two points of the game. 10-7, swarmed by three. Swarm ball inside, nine minutes to go, first quarter. Page, right side, launches a three. Leaves it way short. Rebound by Felder for the drive. Felder across the timeline. One-on-one against Page. Draws the double team with Wilkins. Ball poked away. Out of bounds. It'll stay with the drive. Going from left to right here in the first quarter. The drive have won six straight games. And that average margin of victory has been 15 points per game in those six straight victories. Morris driving down the lane. Left-handed scoop shot is good. Off the glass for Jamel Morris. That's his first two points of the night. 10-9, swarmed by a ball with the ball. 8.30 to go, first quarter. Sam Thompson, top of the key, one-on-one against Upshot. Drives down the lane, layup off the glass, and good. Sam Thompson, his second basket of the night. 12-9, swarmed by three, drive ball from left to right. 8.15 to go, first quarter. Here's Kay Felder, right side, skip pass up top to Upshaw. Entry pass down low, inside to Landry Noko. This is the turnaround jumper. Rebound out of bounds, and it goes to whom? They say back to the Swarm. Swarm up three early, 12-9. to nine. The Swarm averaged 104.3 points per game. The Grand Rapids drive slightly ahead at 104.6 per game this season. Both teams shoot outstanding from the free throw line. Get to those numbers in just a moment. Here's Wilkins for the Swarm. Swarm by three. Inside eight minutes to go. First quarter. Wilkins drives down the right alley. Kicks it right side to Page. Up top to Dawson. Swings it left to Thompson. Now to Mangit Mathieng. Down low. Left block against Noko. Backs in. Leans inside. Shut up off the glass. No good. But he's fouled. They'll head to the line. And shoot two as that shot clock was winding down. And Mango Mathieng will go to the line and shoot two. Fouls on Landry Noko. And that's his first. So Mango Mathiang at the line, 63% free throw shooter. Has two points so far tonight. First foul shot with the right hand is up and rolls in. He has three. Swarm, three of three at the line. Mathiang, 21 points, 11 rebounds in his last game on the road on Wednesday against the Lakeland Magic. Second shot for the rookie out of Louisville. It's up and it's in. Four points for Mathieu. Swarm a 4 4 at the line. 14 9. Swarm by 5. 7 40 to go. First quarter. Here's Felder for the drive. Between the rings is Noko. Hands it off to Jamel Morris up front. He's got it by Marcus Page. Morris double team. Skip pass up top. Felder. Rising fires up a 3. Off the mark. Rebound to Noko. Way up is good. Landry Noko's second bucket of the game. He has four points. 14 11. Swarm lead is three. 7 19 to go. First quarter. Here's Page right side. Dancing around with the dribble. Whips the pass down low, looking for Matthew Yang, and it's out of bounds. Turnover on the swarm. It's first of the night. 
Here comes Kay Felder in the drive. Drive, leap, trailing the swarm. 14 to 11. Boat go between the rings. Hands it off to Morris up front. Drives down the paint. Kicks it left corner to Felder. Fakes the shot. Drives down the baseline. And they wave off the shot. Blocking foul called. Or reach in. One of the two on the swarm. That's on John Dawson. And that's his second. So blocking foul on the floor against John Dawson. Timeout taken with 6.58 to go here in the first quarter in Greensboro. It's the Swarm 14. The drive 11. This is Greensboro Swarm Basketball broadcast on Facebook Live. Fans, our next home games at the Fieldhouse are this Sunday, February 25th at 2 p.m. as the Swarm take out of the Long Island Nets, the affiliate of the Brooklyn Nets, and Sunday, March 4th at 4 p.m. as the Swarm take on the main Red Claws, the affiliate of the Boston Celtics. Tickets start at $17, and you can order your tickets by going to gssswarm.com. Also, for groups of 10 or more people, make sure you call our offices at 336-907-3601 to receive additional savings and no ticket fees with your purchase. Family is first, and the Swarm is excited to partner this season with McDonald's as we offer our family pack. Family packs include a ticket to the game, value meal at McDonald's, and a giveaway item from the Swarm. Seats and packages are limited, so stop by the sales table to learn more. For more information, please go to gssworm.com or call our offices at 336-907-3600 for more information. in Greensboro, 6.58 to go in the first quarter, the Swarm lead at 14-11 it's Drives Ball going from left to right they'll inbound to the far sideline and they want to reset the shot clock to 13 seconds on this possession for the drive So the drive to inbound to the far sideline. Morris has it. Entry pass up top. It goes to Noko. Hands it over to Kay Felder. Felder against TJ Williams who's in the game for the first time. Up top to Upshaw. Overhead pass. Right side to Morris. Drives in the lane. Feeds it inside to Noko. And he lays it in. Landry Noko with his sixth point of the game. 14-13. Swarm by one. 6.40 to go in the first quarter. Swarm ball. Here's Wilkins near the foul line to the right elbow. Dumps it down low. High low lob inside to LG Gill. Misses the lay in. Rebound, rebound control by the drive. Marcus Simmons drives inside. Down the lane. Scooped to the hoop. Missed the shot, but he's fouled. He'll head the line. And shoot two. That foul's on TJ Williams. And that's his first. So Marcus Simmons will get to the line. An 80% free throw shooter. And first foul shot is missed. It's no good. Simmons averaging five points per game. He had three points in his last game against Memphis back on February 11th. This is a drive team which has been idle for 12 straight days, but is coming in with a six-game winning streak, beating Rio Grande Valley. Agua Caliente Clippers, Delaware, the Windy City Bulls, the Wisconsin Herd, Memphis Hustle. Six straight wins for the drive coming into tonight. Second shot for Simmons. It's up and rolling around. It goes in as Simmons gets one out of two. He has three points. Tie game at 14, 6.23 to go first quarter. Here's T.J. Williams with a swarm. Between the legs dribble, looks and finds Petrosic left of the circle. He's in for the first time tonight. Petrosic loops right. He passes left to Wilkins. Left short corner, spins on the baseline. Fed away jump shot, right hand. It's off the mark. Rebound out of bounds. It's touched last, they say, by the drive. It'll stay with the Swarm with 14 to shoot. 
Tie game at 14, 6.06 to go here in the first quarter. T.J. Williams inbounds of the baseline on the far side. He inbounds the ball, right short corner. It goes to Wilkins. Back up top to Petrosic. Launches up a three-pointer. Too strong. Rebound skied for by Kay Felder. Felder across the timeline with a left-handed dribble. Felder down the right alley. Stopped on the double team. He needs help. He's inside the Horford. Heavy shot blocked by Petrosic. Horford got it back. Loose ball tie up. And they have a jump ball between Horford and I believe Petrosic in the lane. Horford will jump up against John Dawson. The toss of the tap, and it's controlled by Koenig for the drive. He's in for the first time tonight. To Felder, right at the circle, and a whistle inside. Oh, a traveling violation called on Kay Felder. First turnover on the drive tonight. Here comes T.J. Williams for the swarm. He'll dribble the ball across the timeline. He's got it by Kay Felder. Williams down the right alley, down the lane, floating right-handed in the lane, leaves it short. Rebound ripped away by Zeke Upshaw for the drive. Here's Upshaw across the timeline, right at the circle, takes a three. It's on the way, booming out. Rebound control by T.J. Williams for the swarm. Here's Williams. He'll sprint the dribble across the timeline. Right side pass to Petrosic. Back to Williams up front. He swings the left to Dawson in the left corner to Wilkins. 15 to shoot, Wilkins drives into the paint, stops, plays it right side to Petrosic, open three-pointer, yes! Luke Petrosic, his first points of the game, it's a three, and the Swarm lead it up by three, 17-14, inside five minutes to go, first quarter. Here's Simmons, up top for the drive to Upshaw, now between the rings, inside the half-court stripe is Kay Felder. Felder, top of the circle, rips it down low into Horford, layup off the glass, and good. John Horford with his first two points of the game, 17-16, swarm by one, 4.35 to go, first quarter. Here's T.J. Williams up top, he drives and spins in the lane, and they call an offensive foul on Williams as he pushed off on Felder. That's the foul on Williams, and that's his second of the game. John Dawson comes out of the ball game, and Marcus Page comes back in. So the five of the floor for the Swarm, Petrosic, Page, Williams, Gill, and Wilkins. Into the ball game is Speedy Smith for the first time tonight for the drive. Here's Horford, top of the key for Grand Rapids, up top to Bronson Koenig. He whips the pass over his head, left side, Upshaw, three-pointer on the way, miss! Rebound ripped away by Petrosic for the Swarm. Outlet pass over to Wilkins, across the timeline he goes. Wilkins, top of the key, drives into the lane, kicks it left of the circle to Petrosic. Thought about the three, doesn't take it, hands it off, left side to Williams, he drives down the lane, scooped to the hoop with the right hand, it goes in. T.J. Williams, just first two points of the game, 19-16, swarm by three, inside four minutes to go in the first quarter. Here's Speedy Smith, across the timeline for the drive, hands it over to Upshaw, left side Koenig, uh, Koenig rather, hands it off to Smith up front. Shot clock ticking down, inside of ten, Smith, top of the circle, three, missed, rebound controlled by Wilkins for the swarm. Here's Wilkins across the timeline with a right-handed dribble. Wilkins dribbling down the lane to the glass and rips the pass right side to Williams. Fires up a three on the way. It's way short. It barely drew the bottom of the net. And it did not go through the basket. Here's the drive. Drive trailing it by three as they approach 3.15 to go in the first quarter. Ball loose on the floor. Picked up by Koenig down the right baseline. He stopped by Gill. Inside pass down low. Goes to Simmons and he lays it in. Simmons has five, 19-18, swarm by one with the ball. Approaching three minutes to go, first quarter. L.G. Gill on the other hand. Reverse layup is good with the right hand. L.G. Gill's first points of the game. And it's 21-18, swarm by three. Inside three minutes to go in the first quarter. And we get a timeout taken by the drive. 2.56 to go in the first quarter. It's the swarm 21, drive 18. This is Greensboro Swarm Basketball broadcast on Facebook Live. During February, the NBA family celebrates Black History Month by honoring those who have paved the the way for the future generations. That tradition continues with NBA voices as the NBA family works together to uplift communities. Share how you are improving your community using hashtag NBA Voices.
copyrighted telecast of the NBA G League may not be retransmitted, reproduced, rebroadcast, or otherwise used in any form without the express written consent of the NBA G League. Back in Greensboro, 2.53 to go in the first quarter. Swarm ball, making a drive ball going from left to right. Swarm lead at 21-18. Drive ball from left to right. Here's Brunson Koenig, right side, dancing around on the dribble. Whips the pass up front to Smith. He spins the left side for a three-point shot up and down by Marcus Simmons. That's his first three of the game. He has eight points. Tie game at 21, 2.32 to go in the first quarter. Marcus Page driving left baseline, whips the pass. Right corner, Petrosic a three. Good! Luke Petrosic, his second three of the game. He has six points, won by three, 24-21. 2.18 to go in the first quarter, and a foul on the sideline against the Swarm at the front court. And I believe it's on T.J. Williams. It is on T.J., and that's his third of the game. So he has three, and he'll likely have to come out of the game, but looks like, uh, yep, John Dawson will come in for T.J. So just in the first quarter, and T.J. Williams, not even starting tonight, has three personal fouls off the bench. He'll come out. John Dawson into the game for the Swarm. So Morris will inbound with the drive over to Bronson Koenig. He'll be guarded by Marcus Page. Right of the circle is Noko, picked up by L.G. Gill. Shot clock at 10. Morris around a screen from Noko. Drives down the right alley, down the baseline. Whips the pass up front, and it's stolen away by John Dawson. Turnover on the drive. It's second of the game. Lead pass up the floor to Terry. Making it to Sam Thompson. Drives inside, misses the shot in the lane. Rebound controlled by Speedy Smith for the drive. Here's Smith, right of the circle, picked up by Marcus Page. Hands it up, top of the key to Morris. Right by Luke Petrosic. Morris drives down the paint. Comes back down, left side. To Smith down low left block it goes to Noko works against Gill and Gill fouls him on the way up he'll send Noko to the line to shoot two fouls on LG Gill and that's his first first foul on Gill and team foul number four in the swarm first of the last two minutes of this first quarter at the line is Landry Noko he is the cousin of NBA player Luke Richard Umba Amute, 75% free throw shooter. First foul shot goes up and in. Noko has seven. Drive or two of three at the line. 24 22, swarm by two. Second shot for Noko, who played collegially for four years at Clemson from 2012 to 2016. He has seven points in the game and makes the second free throw as well. To give him eight points on the night. 24-23, swarmed by one. Here's a running hook shot up the glass and good by Marcus Page. His second basket of the game. He has four points. 26-23, swarmed by three. Minute 24 to go, first quarter. Speedy Smith for the drive. Backdoor bounce pass to Bronson. Koenig lost the ball. Out of bounds, tipped out of bounds, though, last by the swarm. It'll stay with the drive of the baseline on the near side. Speedy Smith to inbound with 15 on the shot clock for the drive. And a shot is up in the air and good by Brunson Koenig. Down the other end, LG Gill for the swarm. And he comes back over to Sam Thompson at the right angle. Shot clock at 12. Here's Thompson. Left side pass to Page. Shot clock at eight, inside of a minute to go in the first quarter. Page shaking and baking, up top it goes to Don Dawson, to shot for three on the way, it's missed, rebound fought for, picked up by Speedy Smith. To the left side, Koenig, Koenig is three, it's short, rebound controlled by Petrasic for the swarm, over to Marcus Page. Page across the timeline, trying to set up the offense on the point, ball loose on the floor, in the backcourt, and it's loose, it's saved out of bounds by the drive, into the hands of Morris, he drives inside, shot is up and in off the window. 
Morris with four. And it's 28-26, drive having the lead by two, 32 seconds to go, first quarter. Here's Marcus Page across the timeline. He's going to buy Speedy Smith, about an eight-second differential, shot clock to game clock here in the first quarter. Here's Page inside the half-court stripe, just yo-yoing the basketball, shot clock at 10, game clock at 16. Here is Page, top of the circle, backdoor bounce pass to Gill, drives inside, left-handed layup, it's good! Oh, rolled around on the rim and it went in. Gill with four. On the other end, the drive with Morris. Lost the ball out of bounds. Turnover on the drive. Their third of the game. Tie game at 28 with 4.9 seconds remaining in the quarter. Here's Page across the timeline. Three seconds. Page right side launches the left-handed three at the buzzer. No good. And the end of the first quarter is here. At the end of one here in Greensboro the score the swarm 28 the drive 28 this is greensboro swarm basketball broadcast on facebook live the swarm would like to thank blue ridge companies for their continued support of the greensboro swarm and their continued partnership this season blue ridge companies are in their second season as a swarm partner and we are so excited to work with them again this season for any short-term long-term leases blue ridge companies is the place to be They have properties all around the triad and are the official housing partner of your Greensboro Swarm. For more information, please go to blueridgecompanies.com. Copyrighted telecast of the NBA G League may not be retransmitted, reproduced, rebroadcast, or otherwise used in any form without the express. Back in Greensboro, start of the second quarter, tie game at 28. The Swarm shooting 52% from the floor so far, 11 out of 21. The drive exactly the same, 52% from the field, 11 of 21 shots overall. Start of the second quarter, tie game at 28. Drive ball going from left to right. Speedy Smith, backdoor bounce pass, looking for Koenig, gets out of bounds. That goes back over to the Swarm. Four turnovers on the drive here in the first half of play. Tie game at 28. Here come the Swarm, who have lost two of their last five games. They've won three, lost two. Trying to get back into the swing of things here after the midseason break, after winning over Lakeland and defeating the Magic on the road back on Wednesday night. Here's LG Gill, right baseline, shot, miss, rebound control by the drive, and Speedy Smith across the timeline he goes. Smith, out of you, blob, down low to Noko, gathers, puts it up off the glass, and good. Landry Noko, he's in double figures already with 10. 30 to 28, drive by two. Swarm ball, 11-10 to go in the second quarter. Page up front, it goes to John Dawson. Top of the circle, three is too strong. Rebound control by the drive, and Speedy Smith. Smith across the timeline with a left-handed dribble. Goes to the left side, draws the double team. Inside pass, down low is Noko. Puts up a shot with the right hand. Leaves it short, rebound by LG Gill. Nice box out and rebound by Gill. Left side across the timeline, Petrosic, he drives down the left baseline, floating left-hander, no good. Rebound controlled by Koenig for the drive. Koenig across the timeline he goes. 
Plays it up front to Smith. Entry pass down low in the lane to Noko, and he turns around and puts it in. He has 12 points in the game. He comes in averaging 14 a night, already 12 in the first 13 and a half minutes of this game. 32-28, Swarm down four with the ball. Petrosic makes the three, steps inside. 15-foot jumper, foul line, got it. Luke Petrosic, he has eight. Third basket for him tonight. 32-30, Swarm down two. 10-10 to go. Second quarter, drive ball from left to right. Speedy Smith, right at the circle, spins the pass, left wing to Koenig, fires up a three, bouncing out. High rebound taken by LG Gill. He outlets the pass over to Page. Page across the timeline, setting up shop at the top of the key. Tries to whip the pass inside. It goes out of bounds and touched last, they say, by the drive with 15 to shoot. Mango Matthew Yang into the game for the Swarm. And he'll replace LG Gill. And Zeke Upshaw comes into the game for the drive, replacing John Horford. Here's Marcus Page inbounding and finds Mango Mathiang. Hands it over to John Dawson right side. Drives into the lane, floating right. Hander goes in for John Dawson. His first two points of the night. And we're tied to 32 with 9.43 to go second quarter. Here's Speedy Smith across the timeline. Hands it over to Morris up front. Now top of the key to Koenig. He drives inside. Whips it out left side. It goes to Morris for three. Haney got it. Jamel Morris, his first three of the game. He has seven points. Drive lead it 35-32. Swarm ball from right to left with 9.25 to go. Second quarter. Here's Page. Up front to Matthew Yang. Back to Page at the left elbow. Leans inside. Left-handed scoop shot goes in off the window. Marcus Page with his third basket of the game. He has six. 35-34. Swarm down one and now make it down three as Landry Noko on the other end throws it down to have his 14th point of the night. Swarm down three, 37 to 34. Entry pass looking inside for Matthew Yang from Page. It's out of bounds off of the drive. It'll stay with the swarm underneath. Petrosic goes out and Damian Wilkins back in for the swarm. So the five of the floor for the swarm. Page, Dawson, Henderson, Wilkins, and Matthew Yang. And now Dawson will come out and Terry Henderson will come into the game for the first time tonight for the Swarm. Page inbounds on the far side of the baseline underneath the Swarm's own goal and they call a foul. Holding foul called on Marcus Simmons of the drive and that's his second. His second team foul number one. And because it was a holding foul and not during the Action and in play. It's a one shot technical. And Damian Wilkins nails the free throw to have his fifth point of the game. The swarm, five of five for the line. They'll maintain possession as well as Page inbounds to Matthew Yang. Back to Page, right corner, three pointer. Good! Marcus Page of his ninth point of the game, his first three. 38 37. The lead is one for the swarm. 8.52 to go. Second quarter. Morris drives inside. Had his pocket picked. Loose ball. Fought for. Picked up by the swarm. That's the fifth turnover on the drive in this game. Wilkins across the midline. It goes to Henderson. Henderson left of the circle. Spins the pass inside. Take it away by the drive. Turnover number four on the swarm. Here's Upshot. Left side to the drive for three. And he got it. Zeke Upshaw, second three of the game. He has six points and the drive lead at 40 to 38. Swarm ball, 8.25 to go. Second quarter. Here's Page across the timeline from right to left. He spins the pass right side to Thompson. Entry pass down low. Short corner right is Wilkins. Backs in on Simmons, leans inside. Shot is blocked by Simmons. Taken right back though by Wilkins. Three to shoot. And here's a right side three missed by Henderson, making a Thompson rather. Rebound fought for, picked up by Wilkins and he lays it in. Damian Wilkins has seven. Technical foul called on Grand Rapids Drive head coach Robert Wardan. And he is not happy with that last play, and his coaching staff and players have to hold him back. And Marcus Page will go to the free throw line for a one-shot technical for the Swarm. Page, an 85% free throw shooter, knocks it down. He's in double figures now with 10. The Swarm, a perfect 6-6 six of six from the line in this game. And the Swarm lead it 41-40. to 40. 
Drive ball going from left to right, trailing the swarm by one. Here's Kay Felder. He'll jog the dribble across the timeline. Got to buy Sam Tom, making a Terry Henderson over to Noko. It dribbles to the right side. Looks, needs help, and finds Kay Felder. Had the ball poked away out of bounds. Turnover on Felder. And the drive drives second, making a seventh turnover on the night. 41-40, swarm by one, 7.45 to go here in the second quarter. Damian Wilkins from right to left, across the timeline he goes. He's got it by Marcus Simmons, push pass right at the circle to Page, picked up by Kay Felder, and Page reach in foul. No, they call an offensive foul on Marcus Page. Oh, my goodness. He has his first foul of the game, and a timeout taken by the Grand Rapids drive. With 7.36 remaining in the first quarter, it's the Swarm 41 and the Drive 40. This is Greensboro Swarm Basketball broadcast on Facebook Live. Fans, our next home games at the Fieldhouse are this Sunday, February 25th at 2 p.m. as the Swarm take on the Long Island Nets, the affiliate of the Brooklyn Nets, and Sunday, March 4th at 4 p.m. as the Swarm take on the Maine Red Claws, the affiliate of the Boston Celtics. Tickets start at $17, and you can order your tickets by going to gsoswarm.com. Also, for groups of 10 or more people, make sure you call their offices at 336-907-3601 to receive additional savings and no ticket fees with your purchase. Hey, fans, we want to see you again. Tickets are available for all remaining Swarm home games by visiting Ticketmaster.com or by visiting the Coliseum Advanced Box Office during operating hours. We want you to help make it a true home court advantage here at the Fieldhouse. We hope to see you soon. For more information, please go to gsoswarm.com or call their offices at 336-907-3600 for more information. Back in Greensboro, 41-40, swarm by one over the drive, 7.36 remaining in the second quarter. The drive shooting 57% overall, 41% on threes. Meanwhile, the swarm shooting 51% overall, just three of 11 on three-point shots tonight at 27%. Drive ball, here's Felder, right side, spins the pass, left side to Upshaw for three, and it's good again. Zeke Upshaw's third three of the game, he has nine points. And the drive retake the lead by two, 43-41, 7.13 to go, second quarter. Here's Page, right corner for the Swarm. At the right sideline, Terry Henderson, guarded heavily by Kay Felder. Up top it goes to Page, draws the double team, he needs help, shot clock inside of 10. Here's Sam Thompson driving in the lane, kicks it right side to Henderson. Back to Thompson, right corner, three-point shot is an air ball, controlled to the miss by the drive, and Landry Noko over to Upshaw, across the timeline to Felder. One on four break, and Felder floats one up anyway, it's no good. Rebound offensively by Noko. Up top to Upshaw for a three. This time it's short. Rebound controlled by Wilkins for the swarm. Wilkins across the timeline. Left side, Henderson fires up a three. It's running out. Rebound controlled by Felder for the drive. Drive with the ball, leading by two. 43-41, 6.28 to go. Second quarter, Felder right side, a three, and it goes down. Oh, my goodness, with a hand in his face falling down. Felder's first points of the night. Drive with his biggest lead of the night of five is 46-41. Swarm ball, 6.13 to go, second quarter. Page, bounce pass, left elbow to Wilkins, spins the pass right side to Henderson, bounce pass down low. Right block is Matt Yang, spins on Noko, feeds the pass inside, and he turned it over. Turned it over the Swarm, and a foul in the backcourt. As the drive, we're trying to dribble the ball across the timeline. Sal's on Marcus Page in the backcourt. That's his second. There come the 
Grand Rapids drive, Kay Felder. Across the timeline, he's guarded one-on-one -on -one against Terry Henderson. Felder up top between the rings to Bronson Koenig. Koenig looks inside for help, not there. Now he finds Felder left side. Entry pass down low, left block is Landry Noko and a blocking foul called on LG Gill for the Swarm. And that's his second. The Swarm wearing their black uniforms tonight, sponsored by a legacy. And at the start of the third quarter, we'll talk with Tracy Myers, Vice President of Business and Community Development at the Legacy in the early moments of the third quarter of this game tonight. Here's Bronson Koenig, misses the three-point shot at the top. Rebound controlled by Page for the Swarm. Outlet pass, right side to Petrosic, up top to Wilkins. Now left of the circle, Page for three, cut it! Marcus Page, his second three of the game. He has 13 points. Swarm lead it, making a Swarm trail it, 46-44 with 5.19 remaining in the second quarter. Here's Felder, right side, give and go, bounce pass to Noko up front, now to Upshaw, fires up a three on the way, and it's good again, Zeke Upshaw with his fourth three of the game. He has 12 points, he only averages eight points coming into tonight. 49-44, drive by five. Here's Wilkins, right side, they call an offensive foul on Damian Wilkins as he pushed off on the drive to the baseline, that's his first. Landry Noko goes out and John Horford into the game for the Grand Rapids drive. Here's Kay Felder. Left hands the dribble across the timeline for the drive. Guarded by Terry Henderson up top to Koenig. Feeds it right of the circle to Horford. Horford against Gill. He fakes the pass right. Now goes back left to Upshaw. Upshaw drives inside in the lane. Puts it up off the glass and it's good for Zeke Upshaw. 14 points for Upshaw. And the drive have their biggest lead of the night at 7, 51-44. Right side three taken by the Swarms Wilkins. It's off the mark and the rebound to the drive. And Kay Felder. Felder right side fires up a three on the way. Missed badly off the glass. Rebound Petrosic for the Swarm. Here comes Marcus Page. Across the timeline he goes. He sets up the offense on the right side of the floor. Fires up a three-pointer. Rimming out. Rebound controlled on the deck by Kay Felder. Felder for the drive, across the timeline he goes. Felder against Wilkins, right baseline. Now he's stopped by Wilkins. He'll redirect traffic on the point for the drive. Shot clock at 13. Here's Felder, bounce pass, right elbow to John Horford. He spins on LG Gill, backs in on LG. Six to shoot. Horford down low, right baseline, three to shoot. Fade away, turn around, jump shot goes down for John Horford, his second basket of the night. He has four points in the drive. Extend their lead to nine at 53-44. Timeout taken by Noel Gillespie and the Swarm. With 3.42 remaining in the second quarter, it's the drive 53 and the Swarm 44. This is Greensboro Swarm Basketball broadcast on Facebook Live. We are proud to announce that Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Carolina is a proud partner of the Greensboro Swarm this season. As you can see on the floor, we have our Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Carolina conducting the three-point shot contest with a chance to win Charlotte Hornets tickets for a game. Live fearless, be bold, be brave, be strong. Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Carolina. During February, the NBA family celebrates Black History Month by honoring those who paved the way for future generations. That tradition continues with NBA voices as the NBA family works together to uplift communities. Share how you are improving your community using hashtag NBA Voices. Back in Greensboro, 3.42 to go in the Second quarter, 53-44, the drive with the lead of nine. Swarm ball 
from left to right with 15 on the shot clock for the Swarm. Here's Wilkins driving inside to the left block, fadeaway jump shot off the glass and in for Damian Wilkins. He has nine. 53-46, the lead is seven for the drive with 3.25 to go in the second quarter. Here's Kay Felder, walks the dribble across the timeline for the drive. He's guarded by John Dawson, now goes to the left wing. Fakes the bounce pass left, he dribbles down the right lane, down to the glass, puts up a shot, missed it. Rebound controlled by Horford, he missed his shot under, underneath. Rebound fought for, controlled by the drive with three to shoot. Right corner, Simmons driving baseline, can't get the shot off in time. It's a shot clock violation, nobody had possession of the ball after that first missed shot and a turnover on the drive. That's their seventh of the game. Here's John Dawson for the Swarm, down seven, 53-46, inside of three minutes to go, second quarter. To Wilkins with the high lane, left elbow, works against Simmons, backs him in, fadeaway jump shot with the right hand, it goes in! Oh, he's so money with that shot every time! 11 points for Wilkins, cuts it down to a five-point game, 53-48, drive of the ball, leading by five, 2.38 to go, second quarter. Here's Horford, top of the key, hands it over to Koenig, right of the circle. Koenig flips the pass, up top to Upshaw, fires up a three, count it again! Five three-pointers for Zeke Upshaw. He has 17 points in the game. And the drive, lead it by eight at 56-48, 2.18 to go, second quarter. Here's Wilkins, shaking and making, driving down the left alley, looks inside for Matt, the Angus not there, turnover on the swarm. Number seven in the game to Felder, up top. Skips the pass, right corner to Simmons, and he's out of bounds. He caught the ball on the sideline, turnover drive. It's eighth of the game. Petrosic, Dawson, Wilkins, Matthew Yang, Henderson, the five on the floor for the Greensboro Swarm. Swarm down eight inside two minutes to go, second quarter. Wilkins fights off the defender. He's got it. Left of the circle, up front. Fires up a long two-point shot. Got it! And he's fouled! And he'll head of the line for a three-point opportunity. Fouls on Marcus Simmons, and that's his third. Wilkins has 13 points. So 38-year-old Damian Wilkins son of former NBA player Gerald Wilkins, nephew of NBA Hall of Famer Dominique Wilkins, 38-year-old Damian Wilkins at the line for the three-point play, and he misses the free throw, normally a 93% free throw shooter. Swarm six of seven at the line, drive lead at 56-50. With the ball, minute 45 to go, second quarter. Felder drives down the lane, feeds it right corner to Morris, up top to Upshaw, fires up another three, caught it again! Oh my goodness! Six threes for Zeke Upshaw to make it 59-50. Drive by nine. Swarm ball from right to left as they run the perimeter motion game offense. John Dawson driving in the paint and he shoots and scores. John Dawson with his fourth point of the game, his second basket, 59-52. Swarm down seven, 115 to go, second quarter. Here's a pass inside, taken away by Marcus Page. Turnover on the drive. And Page is fouled at midcourt by Kay Felder of the drive, and that's his first. Zeke Upshaw for the drive, a 37% three-point shooter on the season, averages only eight points a game, has 20 in the first half. He's made six three-pointers. He is 7 of 11 from the floor overall as the foul shot is missed by... Marcus Page, it's no good. Shot number two coming up for Marcus Page. He has 13 points in this first half, make it 14, makes the second free throw. And the Swarm are seven of nine of the line. Swarm down six, approaching one minute to go, second quarter. It's the drive ball from left to right. Here's Felder across the timeline, goes to the left wing. He hands it over to Bronson Koenig, picked up by Marcus Page. Koenig driving down the lane to the glass, lays it up. Shot blocked away, out of bounds. Blocked by Matthew Yang. Out of bounds, seven on the shot clock for the drive. They'll inbound the basketball on their own baseline on the near side. As Mango Matthew Yang says, no, sir, and blocks the shot of Koenig. Here's Upshaw off a screen, fires up a three in the right corner. It's no good. Rebound controlled by Wilkins behind the back dribble. Spots a seam down the lane. Goes up to the glass, lays it up and in! Damian Wilkins has 15. 
59-55, swarm down four, 35 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Felder inside pass to Horford, and he's fouled from behind by Damian Wilkins. And that's Damian's second. And Damian doesn't like the call, but it's pretty obvious body-to-body contact from behind. That's the second on Damian. He'll come out of the game, and Sam Thompson will come back in. Drive will inbound, 32 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Shot clock ticking down, it's already inside of 10. Felder finds upshot at the top, bounce pass in the lane, Horford, left side pass to Morris, and he lost the ball, turnover on the drive, their 10th, lead pass up the floor for the Swarm, Petrosic lays it up off the glass, rolling around and out, rebound can butt for, controlled on the deck by the drive. 13 seconds to go here in the first half, drive by four, 59-55. Clock down to seven seconds. Koenig up top, one-on-one against Page. Down to three seconds. Koenig right side, two seconds, one second. Koenig driving down the lane, and he doesn't get the shot off in time. Great defense by Page and the Swarm to keep that deficit at four at 59-55. to 55. So your halftime score, it's the drive 59, the Swarm 55. Coming up at the start of the third quarter, We will have an interview with Tracy Myers, the Vice President of Business and Community Development at A Legacy. 59-55, drive lead a swarm here at halftime. This is Greensboro Swarm Basketball broadcast on Facebook Live. Fans, our next home games at the Fieldhouse are Sunday, February 25th at 2 p.m. as the Swarm take on the Long Island Nets, the affiliate of the Brooklyn Nets, and Sunday, March 4th at 4 p.m., as the Swarm take on the main Red Claws, the affiliate of the Boston Celtics. Tickets start at $17, and you can order your tickets by going to gsoswarm.com. Also, for groups of 10 or more people, make sure you call at offices at 336-907-3601 to receive additional savings and no ticket fees with your purchase.
Getting ready to start the third quarter of play here in Greensboro. It is 59-55, the drive of Grand Rapids leading the Greensboro Swarm. As we start the third quarter of play, drive have the ball going from right to left to the rest of the way in this one. Kay Felder will journey across the timeline with the drive. Push pass right side to Jamel Morris. He's picked up by Marcus Page. Man-to-man -man defense by the Swarm. Motion perimeter game inside by the drive and a shot up and in off the window for Zeke Upshaw, picking up where he left off in the first half. 22 points now for Upshaw, so far a game high, 61-55. The Swarm are down six with 11.30 to go in the third quarter. Mango Mathian, right side to Page, fires up a three on the way, off the mark, rebound, Landry Noko's got it for the drive. Across the timeline to Kay Felder. Felder across the timeline, down the lane he goes, tries to whip the pass right side to Morris. He saves the ball out of bounds into the hands of Upshaw. Down low to Noko, left-handed shot up around and out. Rebound fought for on the deck, picked up by Matthew Yang for the swarm. Over to Page, left side to Dawson, fires up a three, on the way, good! John Dawson's first three of the game, it's 61-58, swarm down three. A minute gone by in the third quarter of play, drive ball from right to left. Here's Kate Felder driving down the baseline. Stopped on a double team, goes around the perimeter, goes up with a right left-handed shot off the glass and good for Kay Felder. Only a second basket of the game. He has five points. 63-58, swarm down five. Swarm ball with 10.35 to go, third quarter. Here's Page, right side, penetrates down the lane to the glass and wave it off. Offensive foul called on Marcus Page, pushing off with the left hand. That's his third foul of the game. So drive ball from right to left is Kay Felder. He'll jog the dribble across the timeline. He's got it by John Dawson. Felder inside the half-court stripe, goes to the left wing, penetrates down the baseline, dumps it down inside, taken away by the Swarm. Turnover on the drive. It's 10th of the game. Here's Sam Thompson. 
driving, shooting a shot, rolling around, and it goes in. Sam Thompson with his sixth point of the game, 63-60, swarm it down three, 10 minutes exactly to go, third quarter. Here's Felder across the midcourt stripe. He's got to buy John Dawson. Felder between the rings now to Landry Noko. Noko picks up the dribble, finds left side Felder. Felder fires up a long 20-foot jumper, bouncing out, rebound control by Page for the swarm. Page will dribble across the timeline for the swarm. Setting up the offense on the right side of the floor, getting a screen from Matthew Yang. Here's Page driving left baseline, scores off the glass as he went reverse, and Marcus Page now has 16 points, 63-62, swarm down one. Drive ball, 9.25 to go, third quarter. Here's Landry Noko. Outside, near the right elbow, hands it over, nope, thought about the pass, now hands it over to Marcus Simmons. Simmons at the foul line, dumps it down low inside to Noko, had to take it away, turnover on the drive, number 11 in the game. Here's Page, across the timeline he goes, setting up shop on the left side this time, around a screen, Passing over to Mathieng, reverse layup is good with the right hand. Mango Mathieng has six points. Swarm retake the lead. Swarm were down nine. Now they're up one, 64-63. Inside, nine minutes to go, third quarter. Here's Kay Felder, top of the circle. Left elbow jumper up and in for Kay Felder. He has seven. Drive retake the lead by one, 65-64. 8.40 to go, third quarter. John Dawson, top of the circle, fires up a three. Bouncing in and out, no good. Rebound by Noko for the drive. Outlet to Felder. Across the timeline to Morris. Morris to the left wing. He's going to buy John Dawson. Takes Dawson into the paint. Driving down the lane. Inside to Noko. Layup off the glass. No good, but a foul on John Dawson. That's his second. It's team foul number one. We're able to do everything we can to impact supporting their mission as well as, well as our own. And this is the second straight year. The Swarm have been around for two years now. This is your second year of partnering with the Swarm. Uh, tell us the importance for you to be partnering with the Swarm again this season. Well, we're expanding in Guilford County. We were lucky enough to meet Steve, the president of the Swarm, when you guys were moving into town. And we were expanding at the same time. And it's two great organizations who have a focus on the community and wanting to be of the community and do everything they can to impact change. And uh, how much fun are you having tonight being here? I'm having a blast. The kids are enjoying the game. It's a great game. Great back and forth game, and hopefully the uh, Swarm can uh, pull this one off tonight. I love the black uniforms here tonight, which, of course, is uh, sponsored by you folks at uh, a Legacy. Uh, thanks again for your support of Greensboro Swarm basketball, and uh, enjoy rest the rest of the game tonight. Thanks. That is Tracy Myers, the Vice President of Business and Community Development at a legacy as she joined us here for our quick interview sam thompson hitting a three on the other end to make his uh, ninth point of the game for the swarm and we have a foul on the other end on the swarm and we have a timeout taken on the court with 650 to go here in the third quarter Drive and Swarm, tie game at 67. This is Greensboro Swarm Basketball broadcast on Facebook Live. Fans, our next home games at the Fieldhouse are Sunday, February 25th at 2 p.m. as the Swarm take on the Long Island Nets, the affiliate of the Brooklyn Nets, and Sunday, March 4th at 4 p.m. as the Swarm take on the main Red Claws, the affiliate of the Boston Celtics. Now, tickets start at $17, and you can order your tickets by going to gssworm.com. Also, for groups of 10 or more people, make sure you call their offices at 336-907-3601 to receive additional savings and no ticket fees with your purchase. Family is first. The Swarm is excited to partner with uh, McDonald's this season as we offer our family pack. Family packs include a ticket to the game, value meal at McDonald's, and a giveaway item from the Swarm. Seats and packages are limited, so stop by the sales table to learn more. For more information, please go to gsoswarm.com or call their offices at 336-907-3600 for more information.
Back here in the third quarter, 6.47 to go in the... Shot for three, missed by Brunson. Koenig for the drive, rebound, fought for. Horford had it, missed that shot, rebound, fought for. And it's a foul called on the Greensboro Swarm. It's on Terry Henderson, and that's his first. Tie game at 67, 6.30 to go in the third quarter. The drive ball going from right to left as Koenig inbounds in the front court. It goes to Speedy Smith, who's back in the game. Smith, push pass, right corner to Bronson Koenig. His ball kicked on the pass attempt to the left corner, and they'll reset the shot clock to 14. Koenig to inbound in front of his own bench in the front court. He finds Kay Felder, top of the key. Felder penetrates down the left alley to the glass, dumps it inside to Horford. Turn around shot, right hand, way off the mark. Rebound control by T.J. Williams for the swarm. T.J. across the timeline he goes. Down the right alley, now comes to the stop in the right corner. Now dribble drives down the right baseline, finds Petrosic left corner to Henderson. Right side pass to Dawson for a three-pointer. Good! John Dawson! His second three of the game, he has 10 points, and it's 70 to 67, swarm by three. Inside pass for the drive, it goes to Horford against Petrosic, puts it up over Luke, and he scores. John Horford, his third basket of the game, he has six points, 70 to 69, swarm by one of the ball, 540 to go in the third quarter. Here's TJ Williams driving down the lane, finds Dawson right side. He's got to buy Speedy Smith, shot clock at eight. Hands it off to Williams, right angle, five to shoot of the shot clock. Here's Williams driving, stopped on the double team. Left side pass to Henderson, shot for three, shot clock buzzer. It's short, and the ball goes over the top of the backboard. Out of bounds, it'll go back to the drive. Greensboro, three and two in its last five games combined. Grand Rapids comes in on a six-game winning streak, but it hasn't played in 12 days. Overall record for the drive, 20 and 18 on the year. Here's Speedy Smith driving down the paint, finds Koenig, right corner, three-pointer up and short. Rebound control by Terry Henderson. Henderson on the left corner, whips the pass to John Dawson, steps inside, 15-foot jumper, no good. Rebound controlled inside by Roscoe Smith, who's in the game for the first time, and he lost it out of bounds. Turnover on the swarm. That's now 10 turnovers on Greensboro tonight. Landry Noko will check into the game. Oh, nope, not until the next dead ball, they say, for the Grand Rapids drive. Five of the floor for the Swarm. You have Petrosic, Smith, Dawson, Henderson, and Williams. For the drive, it's Speedy Smith, Felder, Koenig, Horford, and Upshaw. And Kay Felder drives inside and lays one up and in off the window to give him his ninth point of the game, his fourth basket of the night. 71-70, drive by one, swarm ball, perimeter passing game in the front court, entry pass, short corner left is Roscoe Smith, fade away, jumper goes down for Roscoe Smith. His first two points of the game, instant offense for Smith, and it's 72-71, swarm by one. Drive ball from right to left, here's Speedy Smith driving down the lane, kicks it right corner, Koenig three-pointer, got it. Bronson Koenig is... Second three of the game, he has six points. Drive, lead it, 74-72 over the Swarm. Approaching four minutes to go, third quarter. Here's Petrosic, left side of the circle for three, and it's good. Luke Petrosic, his 11th point of the game, he has three threes. Swarm retake the lead by one, 75-74. Inside, four minutes to go, third quarter. Here's Kay Felder, he'll jog the dribble across the timeline, angle dribble to the right side, bounce pass down the lane to Horford, lays it up with the left hand, and it's good. John Horford, he has eight. And the drive, retake the lead by one again, 76-75, 3.40 to go, third quarter. T.J. Williams with a swarm, driving inside, lays it up off the glass, missed the shot, rebound by Felder for the drive. Felder sprints the dribble across the timeline, down the lane, scooped to the hoop, and he lays it in. Oh, no defense was there for the swarm, and Felder easily laid it in for his 11th point of the, game, of the night. 78-75, swarm down three. There's a reach-in foul called on Bronson Koenig for the drive. And that's his first. 
Marcus Page comes back into the game with a swarm. And he'll replace John Dawson. Now Jamel Morris comes into the game for the drive, and he'll replace Kay Felder. 78-75, drive by three. Swarm ball from left to right, 3.20 to go in the third quarter. T.J. Williams inbounds on the far sideline in front of the front row of fans, and he finds Smith up top, back to Williams, and a reach-in foul called on Speedy Smith for the drive, and that's his first. So T.J. Williams will inbound for the swarm on the far side again. Shot clock set at 14. Swarm down three, 78-75. Here's Marcus Page inside the half-court stripe. He's going by Janelle Morris. Shot clock inside of 10. Page whips the pass up top to Petrosic. Three-point shot is up and down for Luke Petrosic. This fourth three of the game, and we're tied at 78. With three minutes exactly to go in the third quarter. Here come the drive down the lane. Koenig, left of the circle, three-pointer, good. Brunson Koenig with three threes in the game. He has nine points in the drive. Retake the lead by three, 81-78, 245 to go, third quarter. Here's Page across the timeline to Williams, back to Page. He goes to the left side, and they call. Uh, they, call a, uh, they call a foul on John Horford. And that's his first. And a timeout of the floor. Full timeout with 2.40 to go in the third quarter. It's the drive 81, the Swarm 78. This is Greensboro Swarm Basketball broadcast on Facebook Live. Fans, our next home games at the Fieldhouse are Sunday, February 25th at 2 p.m. as the Swarm take on the Long Island Nets, the affiliate of the Brooklyn Nets. And Sunday, March 4th at 4 p.m., as the Swarm take on the main Red Claws, the affiliate of the Boston Celtics. Tickets start at $17, and you can order your tickets by going to gsoswarm.com. Also, for groups of 10 or more people, make sure you call their offices at 336-907-3601 to receive additional savings and no ticket fees with your purchase. Family is first, and the Swarm is excited to partner this season with McDonald's as we offer our family pack. Family packs include a ticket to the game, value meal at McDonald's, and a giveaway item from the Swarm. Seats and packages are limited, so stop by the sales table to learn more. For more information, please go to gsoswarm.com or call the offices at 336-907-3600 for more information. Back here in Greensboro, 2.40 to go in the third quarter, and the drive lead the Swarm, 81-78. Swarm ball from left to right. Here's Marcus Page, left side of the circle. He's going to buy John Horford, whips the pass across the court, right wing to Williams, back to Page, left side of three. It's off the mark. Rebound ripped away by Jamel Morris for the drive. Outlet pass over to Smith. She, uh, sneak, uh, Speedy Smith will dribble the ball across the timeline, hand it over to Horford. He looks right. He passes back left. Over to Morris. He drives down the left baseline. Skips the pass. Right side. Koenig a three-pointer. Way off the mark. Rebound by the Swarm. Swarm down three. Here's T.J. Williams. Bounce pass up the floor. Right side of Marcus Page. Drives inside. Layup. Score! Marcus Page has 18. Swarm down one. 81-80. Inside. Two minutes to go. Third quarter. Speedy Smith to Horford. Across the timeline. Back to Smith. He finds Morris on the left wing, behind the screen, shot for three on the way, rims in and out, rebound, Milko's got it offensively for the drive, inside pass to Smith, up top to Koenig, fires up a three-point shot, bouncing around and out, tapped up and in by John Horford, nobody boxed him out. 
10 points for Horford, and it's 83-80. Swarm down three with the ball inside of 90 seconds remaining, third quarter. Here's Page, right sideline, draws the double team, goes down the right baseline, skips it up top to T.J. Williams, fires up a three, good! T.J. Williams rings the bell, his second basket of the game. He has five points, and we're tied at 83. 107 to go, third quarter. Here's Landry Noko driving inside. Offensive foul as he ran right over Luke Petrosic. And Petrosic in there to take the charge. We go back the other way. Great defensive position by Luke Petrosic to draw the charge, and the Swan have the ball back. Tie game at 83. With 104 remaining in the third quarter. Swarm ball from left to right. Some slight pressure in the backcourt by Speedy Smith in the drive. T.J. Williams breaks it easily for the Swarm. Across the timeline he goes. Lost the ball. Got it back to Petrosic. Back to Williams. Up top to Page. Finds Williams. Up back up top to Page again. Shot clock at 10. Williams wide open. Top of the circle. Three. It's short. Rebound controlled by Noko for the drive. Outlet pass to Smith. Speedy Smith drives down the lane. Stops on the dime. Dumps it down low. And the Horford lays it in. Orford with 12, and it's 85-83, swarmed down to 37 seconds to go, third quarter. Here's T.J. Williams, top of the key, drives on Morris, finds Luke Petrasic, left side three, good! Luke Petrasic, his fifth three of the night, gives the swarm a one-point lead at 86-85, with 23 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Shot clock at 15, a five-second differential, shot clock to game clock. Here's Speedy Smith inside the half-court stripe. Shot clock at 9. Smith against T.J. Williams goes to the right side. Shot clock at 5. Smith dribbles into the paint. Skips the left wing in the corner. Koenig at 3. Rimming out. No good. Rebound offensively by Noko for the drive, and he puts it in. Landry Noko with 18. And a delay of game warning after the basket by the drive. It's on the drive. With 2.1 seconds to go in the third quarter, Swarm down one, 87-86. The inbound to Williams, takes a dribble, half-court heave, good if it goes, it does not. And that's the end of the third quarter of play. Back and forth battle here at the Coliseum Fieldhouse here in Greensboro, and your score after three. It's the drive, 87, the Swarm, 86. This is Greensboro Swarm Basketball broadcast on Facebook Live. We start the fourth quarter here in Greensboro. Swarm down one, 87-86. As Marcus Page of the Swarm going from left to right toward the Swarm bench. And Marcus Page fouled up front. He's held by Bronson Koenig. 
That's Koenig's second foul of the game. Team foul number one. So Thompson will inbound in front of the swarm bench. He finds TJ Williams up front between the circles. He's got to by Speedy Smith. Passes left of the circle to Page on the left wing now. Left elbow is Wilkins. Over to the right elbow, Matthew turns and shoots a 15-footer. It's too strong. Rebound control by Noko for the drive. Across the timeline to Smith. Up the floor, left side. Shot for three by Jamel Morris. It's good. Jamel Morris, his second three of the game. He has 10. 90 to 86, swarm down four, 11.20 to go in the game. Here's Page, right side, whips the pass inside to Williams, drives inside, had a shot blocked by Noko, taken by Noko, into the hands of Morris for the drive. Across the timeline he goes. Morris dribbling right baseline, stops, reverse layup, left hand, missed. Rebound control by Matthew Yang for the swarm. Over to Page, Page across the timeline with a right-handed dribble. He looks and finds... Sam Thompson, cross-court pass, left side of the corner, goes to T.J. Williams, shot clock at 10, T.J. around the screen, dribble drive down the lane, inside, reverse layup is good, off the glass by T.J. Williams. He has seven. 90 to 88, swarm down two, 10.40 to go in the game. Here's Jamel Morris, right side of three, got it again, Jamel Morris. Back-to-back buckets. He has now three. Three pointers in the game, 13 points, 93 88, swarm down five of the ball, 10 25 to go, third quarter. Wilkins, top of the circle, launches a three, that's off the mark. Rebound by Noko for the drive. To Smith across the timeline, backdoor bounce pass looking for Morris, and it's intercepted by the swarm. Turnover on the drive, number 14, the reach in foul called on Speedy Smith for the drive. That's his second team foul, number two, by the drive here in the fourth quarter. So here's Marcus Page. He'll dribble the ball across the timeline for the Greensboro Swarm. Up top it goes to Matthew Yang. Looks inside, not much there. He hands it over to TJ Williams, left of the circle. Shot clock ticking down. It's inside of 10. Williams, left elbow, drives down the lane, kicks it right side to Wilkins. He drives into the paint, to the glass, lays it up off the glass, missed the shot. Rebound control by Upshaw for the drive across the timeline to Smith. Smith, three on three, right side, Koenig in the right corner. It goes to Zeke Upshaw, a three, got it. 25 points for Zeke Upshaw, his seventh three-pointer of the game, but his first in the second half of play. Eight-point lead, 96-88, drive lead it. Here's Marcus Page from the foul line. Missed the shot, rebound controlled by the drive. And Jamel Morris. Morris across the timeline, dribble drive, down the lane, left-handed layup off the mark, rebound tapped up and in by Landry Noko. He has 20. And it's a 10-point lead with the drive, 98-88, 9-10 to go in the fourth quarter. Timeout, Noel Gillespie and the Greensboro Swarm with 9-11 to go in the third quarter. Drive 98, Swarm 88. This is Greensboro Swarm Basketball broadcast on Facebook Live. Fans, our next home games at the Field House are Sunday, February 25th, 2 p.m. Swarm ticket on the Long Island Nets, the affiliate of the Brooklyn Nets, and Sunday, March 4th, 4 p.m. as the Swarm tick on the main Red Claws. Tickets start at $17. You can order your tickets by going to gssswarm.com. Also, for groups of 10 or more people, make sure you call our ticket offices at 336-907-3601 to receive additional savings and no ticket fees with your purchase. Hey, fans, we want to see you again. Tickets are available for all remaining Swarm home games by visiting Ticketmaster.com or by visiting the Coliseum Advance box office during operating hours, we want you to help it become a true home court advantage here at the Fieldhouse. We hope to see you soon. For more information, please go to gssworm.com or call our offices at 336-907-3600 for more information.
So the, at the timeout, the Swarm get a basket to make it 98-90 as Damian Wilkins hits a two-pointer, gave him 17 points on the night with 8.44 to go in the game. Drive ball, top of the circle, Janell Morris for three. That's too strong. Rebound tapped out by the drive. Offensive rebound, and it goes to Koenig at the right angle. Drives down the baseline, shoots and scores to the left hand off the glass. Quickly, Koenig got down the lane, and he laid it in for his 11th point of the night. 100 to 90, swarmed down to him with the ball. Wilkins, right corner, three-pointer, got it! 20 points for Damian Wilkins. That's his first three of the game to make it 193. Swarm down seven, approaching eight minutes remaining in the game. Here's Landry Noko. Right elbow, picks up the dribble lead. It's going to by LG Gill. Finds up shot at the left wing. Up shot, left side. Drives down the left baseline inside of Noko. Way up off the glass. No good. Rebound by Noko. Tip try off the mark by Noko. Rebound controlled by the Swarm. Here's TJ Williams to the right corner. Rip the passing game of the Swarm. And they get it to Wilkins to the left elbow. Turns on Koenig. Shot clock at 10. Skip pass. Right side Dawson. Takes the three. Now takes a three for the right side. Got it! John Dawson is third. Three of the game. He has 13 points. And the lead is cut to four. 196. Swarm down four. Drive ball. 726 to go in the game. Here's Koenig at the left angle. Behind the dribble. Behind the back dribble. He's got it by Sam Thompson. Koenig at the top of the key, between the rings. One-on-one -on -one against Sam Thompson. Shot clock at seven. Reach-in foul called on Sam Thompson. And a technical foul called on Sam as well. So Thompson called for the reach-in. Didn't like the call. Said something to the official. And now a technical foul on Thompson as well. So one-shot technical coming up for Jamel Morris in the drive. Morris makes the technical free throw, the drive, six out of seven at the line, and they'll retain possession. Drive, lead it, 101-96. As Koenig comes out of the game and Marcus Simmons back in, 14 on the shot clock for the drive. Swarm on defense, down five, 101-96, 7-12 to go in the game. The inbound the ball to Speedy Smith. He's at the top of the circle. Drives inside. 15-foot jumper. Good for Speedy Smith. That's his first two points of the game. Swarm down 7, 103, 96. Inside seven minutes to go in the game. Here's T.J. Williams to the left side. Draws the double team. Drives down the left baseline. Feeds it right corner. Sam Thompson for three. Off the mark. Rebound. Fought for. L.G. Gill's got it. And a loose ball foul called on the drive underneath as they fouled L.G. Gill. That's on Landry Noko, and that's his third. It's team foul number three. And a timeout taken with 6.45 to go in the game. It's the drive 103, the Swarm 96. This is Greensboro Swarm Basketball broadcast on Facebook Live. Fans, our next home games at the Fieldhouse are Sunday, February 25th at 2 p.m. as the Swarm take on the Long Island Nets, the affiliate of the Brooklyn Nets, and Sunday, March 4th at 4 p.m. as the Swarm take on the Maine Red Claws, the affiliate of the Boston Celtics. Tickets start at $17. You can order your tickets by going to gsoswarm.com. Also, groups of 10 or more people, make sure you call our offices at 336-907-3601 to receive additional savings and no ticket fees with your purchase.
Back in Greensboro, 6.45 to go in the fourth quarter. 103-96, drive leader by seven, swarm ball from left to right, inbounding in front of the swarm's own bench. And they need to uh, reset the shot clock, they say, before the inbounds pass. From 21 seconds down to 14. Sam Thompson inbound in for the swarm on bench. And they look and find T.J. Williams up front between the rings. Right side Thompson. Entry pass down low. Right block is Wilkins. He backs in on Simmons. Leans inside. Up front it goes to Thompson. Sam drives inside. And they call traveling on Thompson. That's 11 turnovers on the swarm in the game. Swarm down 7, 103-96. So here comes Speedy Smith. He'll jog the dribble across the timeline, setting up the offense on the point with Upshaw between the rings. Upshaw with a great game and a quiet second half so far. Here's Morris to the left wing. Shot, shot clock at eight. Morris dribbling into the paint. Step back jumper at the foul line. Rimming off. Rebound tapped around. Pick up of the swarm and T.J. Williams. T.J. sprints the dribble across the timeline. Stops. Plays it right side. Now in the corner is Dawson. Dawson drives, feeds the left side of the corner. Damian Wilkins, three-pointer, swish! Damian Wilkins with his 23rd point of the game to make it 103-99. Swarm down four with inside six minutes to go in the game. Here's Speedy Smith, right side, hands it over to Marcus Simmons. Between the rings is Morris. Morris looks inside for Noko, it's not there. Back to Morris. Here's a upshot, left corner, three-pointer, off the mark. Rebound, run down by John Dawson to the swarm. Swarm down four, trying to cut into the lead some more. Wilkins, top of the key, drives into the paint. Step back jumper from the right side, got it! <laughs> Damian Wilkins, 25 points in the night. To make it 103, 101, swarm down two, drive ball, and a foul call to the swarm as the drives Jamel Morris drove down the right baseline. He got fouled, he got fouled by LG Gill, and that's his second. So Jamel Morris will go to the line. He has 14 points. He had 21 points and five three-pointers against Memphis back on February 11th in the team's last game. And the shot is missed by Morris, and it's no good. This is a drive team, which has won six straight games coming into tonight. But the team has not played a game since 12 nights ago on February 11th against the Memphis Hustle. Shot number two for Morris, left-handed foul shot goes up and in. He claims one out of two. He has 15 points. And the drive lead at 104-101. 5.15 to go in the game. Here's John Dawson with the swarm across the timeline. One-on-one against K. Felder. Dawson drives down the lane to the glass, lays it up off the glass and good! John Dawson with 15 to make it 104-103. Swarm down one. Drive ball from right to left. Inside five minutes to go in the game. Here's Jamel Morris driving inside on John Dawson. Lays it up. It's an air ball. Controlled in the miss by Petrosic. Over to Dawson. Dawson across the timeline. Swarm can take the lead on this trip. And a blocking foul called on Jamel Morris of the drive. And that's his second. Fourth team foul on the drive, so one more foul, and the Swarm will be shooting the penalty the rest of the way. John Dawson to inbound and for the Swarm's own bench. He looks and finds Wilkins in the right corner, spins down the right baseline to the glass, lays it up, he tries to dunk it, he got fouled, he'll hit the line, and shoot two. And the foul's on Marcus Simmons, and that's his fourth. Uh, 38-year-old Damian Wilkins with a nice move. Draws the foul ahead of the line to shoot two. A 93% free throw shooter this season for the Greensboro Swarm. Spent some time with the Indiana Pacers earlier this basketball season. Shot is up by Wilkins, and he rattles it in. Wilkins has 26. He has tied the game at 104. 4.42 remaining in the game. Second shot for Wilkins. He eyes the mark. He flicks the wrist. Up goes the shot. It's too strong, and they have a lane violation called on the drive. So a mulligan shot coming up for Damian Wilkins. 
A free throw here can give the Swarm the lead. He shoots it up and he knocks it down and Wilkins has 27 on the night. Swarm reclaimed the lead by one, 105, 104. 440 to go in the game. The drive across the timeline is Felder. He hands it over to Jamel Morris to the left side. Morris against John Dawson goes behind his back. He goes down the lane. That comes back out. He's picked up by LG Gill. Shot clock at eight. Morris up front. And the right elbow is no go. Backs it off Petrosic. Puts it up with the left hand. Off the mark. Rebound control by Petrosic with a swarm. Over to Damian Wilkins. Wilkins across the timeline. Directing traffic on the point for the swarm. We lead it by one. 105-104. Approaching four minutes to go in the game. Wilkins in the lane, up top to Dawson, three-pointer on the way, good! John Dawson, 18 points in the game, 108-104, slam by four, inside four minutes to go in the game. Crowd on his feet here at the Coliseum here tonight in Greensboro. Here's Kay Felder, right of the circle, and a foul inside, away from the basketball. And it's on Sam Thompson for the swarm, and that's his fourth. The Swarm currently on an 18-4 run to claim a four-point lead at 108-104. Here's Kay Felder, top of the key for the drive. He cross course the pass, left corner, it goes to Morris. He drives into the paint, stops on the dime, had his shot blocked, but he's fouled. And he's, the foul's called on John Dawson, that's his third. That's the fourth team foul in the swarm of the quarter. At the line, Janelle Morris. He has 15 points, an 81% free throw shooter. Foul shot is up and in. He has 16. And a timeout taken by Noel Gillespie and the swarm. With 3.38 to go in the game, it's the swarm 108, the drive 105. This is Greensboro Swarm Basketball broadcast on Facebook Live. That was just a quick 30-second timeout for the Greensboro Swarm. We have 3.38 remaining in the game, and it's 108-105, Swarm by three. Second shot coming up for Jamel Morris. Played two years at Glenville State and then three years at Fairmont State in the Division II ranks. He has 16 points. Shot is up, and it's in there for Morris. He has 17. Swarm lead at 108, 106, 338 remaining in the game. Here's Sam Thompson. He'll go one on one against Upshaw. Across the timeline he goes. Push pass. Left wing to Wilkins. Picked up by Simmons. Ali Blob down low to Thompson. It's off the mark. It's caught by Dawson, though. He puts up a wild shot. It's off the mark as well. Top of the circle. Wilkins at three. Yes! 30 points for Damian Wilkins to make it 111, 106. Swarm by five, drive ball from right to left, 313 to go in the game. Here's Morris across the timeline. Left side to Noko. He's got it by LG Gill. Top of the circle, Felder drives inside on Gill. Stops, leans inside, shot blocked. Oh, they call a foul at the last second on LG. And that's his fourth. And the fans don't like it here in Greensboro. So Kay Felder will go to the line, and he's a 95% free throw shooter. First to two is good. Felder with 12. Felder, the two-way player for both the Grand Rapids Drive and the Detroit Pistons, played three years at Oakland University up in Michigan. The all-time assist leader in the history of the Horizon League, and he makes both free throws for his 12th and 13th points of the game to make it 111-108. Swarm up three with inside three minutes to go in the game. 
Here's John Dawson between the rings. At the left elbow is Petrasic. Looks inside for Wilkins. Not there. Between the circles is Dawson. He drives and bounces bounce the pass. Right angle. Short corner right to Thompson. Over to Wilkins in the right corner. Straight away three-pointer in the corner. Good! Damian Wilkins with 33 points. It's a near season high for Damian Wilkins in a swarm uniform. And on the other end, Grand Rapids shot for two, missed inside, put back up and in by Landry Noko for his 22nd point of the game. 114-110, swarm by four over the ball. Approaching two minutes remaining in the game. Here's John Dawson between the circles. He's got it by Kay Felder, flips the pass on the right wing to Wilkins. Works against Upshaw. Working him, working him, puts it on the floor. One-on-one, five to shoot, Wilkins right side, shot short, rebound control by the drive. We're inside, two minutes to go in the game, and the Swarm lead it, 114-110. They're trying to close it out here against the drive. Here's Jamel Morris driving inside. Layup is good off the glass. Jamel Morris with 19 to make it 114-112. Swarm by two with the ball, minute 43 to go in the game. Here's John Dawson. Inside the half-court stripe, he's going to buy Kay Felder. Getting a screen from Damian Wilkins. Dawson driving down the right alley. Backdoor pass inside to Damian. Puts it up, off the glass. Caught it! One sixteen, one twelve. Damian Wilkins, 35 points of the game. Inside of 90 seconds to go in the game. Felder, tough shot in the lane. Missed, but he's fouled. In front of the line. And shoot two, fouls on Sam Thompson, that's his fifth. Damian Wilkins continues to add to his new season high, 35 points in the game on that great fadeaway three-point shot in the corner to extend the lead to four points for the score. Felder at the line, a missed free throw by Felder. He's normally 95% on the year. Great assist man. We told you about his career at Oakland University outside of Detroit. Set the single season assist record in 2016 with 324 assists. Makes the second free throw. He has one out of two. Cuts the swarm lead down to three at 116, 113, 125 to go. There's Marcus Page against Morris. One-on-one against Morris in the backcourt. He'll dribble the ball across the timeline, setting up the offense on the point for the Swarm. Page dribbling down the lane, and he had his shot blocked, and it's picked up by the drive. No Gillespie wanted a foul. He doesn't get it. Across the timeline on the drive. Morris, three-pointer in rhythm. Got it. So now Morris with a three. 22 points in the game for Morris. We're tied at 116. Inside of a minute to go in the game. Here's Page, left of the circle for the Swarm. He's going to buy Jamel Morris. Flips the pass right side to Dawson. Here's going to buy Kay Felder. Dawson puts it on the floor. Step back, leans inside. Now back over to Page at the left wing. Page drives inside, flips the right angle to Wilkins. Puts up a three at the shot clock buzzer. It's missed. We're not controlled by Morris for the drive. A 15 seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Tie game to 116. A shot to three. Good by Kay Felder at the top of the key to give the drive a three-point lead, 119-116. 30 seconds to go in the game, and a timeout, no, not a timeout, taken by, now they do take a timeout, taken by the Swarm, with 24.1 seconds to go, 17 on the shot clock for the Greensboro Swarm, who are down three, 119 to 116, here at the Coliseum in Greensboro. The Swarm had a four-point lead late, and the drive came rolling back here in the last couple of minutes. The drive going for their seventh straight win. The Swarm trying for their second straight win. Swarm have one timeout remaining. The drive have two. And it'll be interesting to see what the Swarm do here. Will they go for the tie and try for the three? Or will they go for a two and then try to extend the game and foul after a made basket? Damian Wilkins has 35 points. He has 20 in the second half. 
He has three three-pointers. Marcus Page will inbound right in front of us. He's guarded by Jamel Morris. And he inbounds the ball to Wilkins. He turns on the defender, ball knocked away. It's out of bounds off of Marcus Simmons at the drive. 14 on the shot clock, 21.2 to go on the game clock. Swarm down three, 119-116, and Noel Gillespie and the Swarm take their final timeout. It's a 20. A 20-second timeout taken by the Greensboro Swarm. Swarm have no timeouts remaining, so Noel Gillespie calls timeout and wants to regroup on this next possession. Swarm down three, 119, 116. 21.2 seconds to go. Will the Swarm try to go for the tie at a three or take the first shot they get, which might be a two? And then try to play the foul game to extend the game and Try to extend the game that way as Sam Thompson will inbound in front of the Swarm bench. He's got it by Koenig and he looks and he finds Wilkins right corner, three-pointer on the way. It's off the mark, rebound, front four, picked up. Still front four, picked up by the drive. Simmons has it into the backcourt to Morris and he's fouled with 12 seconds to go. And that foul's on Marcus Page and that's his fourth. 12 seconds to go, and going to the line is Jamel Morris, who has 22 points on the night. He's four of five at the free throw line in this game this evening. 81% of the year, first foul shot up and in. It's a four point game. 120 to 116, drive by four. No timeouts remaining for the Swarm. A made free throw here, the Swarm might have a timeout reset, and they do. Timeout reset for the Swarm. As Morris hits the free throw, give him 24 points on the night. So timeout reset, no huddling, no play designing here by the Swarm. They will just advance the ball past the midcourt line to the 28 foot line. Swarm down five, two possession game. Thompson inbound, he finds Damian Wilkins, right baseline, and he is fouled, a blocking foul called on the drive. It's on Marcus Simmons, that's his fifth. So Damian Wilkins will head of the stripe, trying to cut the lead down to a one possession game with 10.3 to go. So Damian Wilkins, 35 points on the night. First foul shot, good. 36 for D-Dub. Shot number two coming up for Wilkins. End of the game, LG Gill for the Swarm, replacing John Dawson. Second shot for Damian Wilkins. He has 36 points on the night. Second shot is on the way. Good. 37 for Wilkins. And they foul on the inbounds pass. They foul Janelle Morris with 9.6 to go. So Jamel Morris will go to the line to try and perhaps close out the game for the Grand Rapids drive. The first of two foul shots up and good. 25 for Morris. 122-118, swarm down four as John Dawson comes back into the game. Offense for defense and LG Gill goes out. Swarm down four. 9.6 to go. Swarm out of timeout. Morris at the line, takes a couple of dribbles, ties the mark, left-handed foul shot up and perfect. 26 
for Morris. Eight seconds to go, swarm down five. Page at the top of the circle, whips it right side to Wilkins, takes a three, now takes a three, and it leaves a short rebound for Trossett. Shot is short, no good, that's it. And the Grand Rapids drive win their seventh consecutive game and defeat the Greensboro Swarm. 123 to 118, the final. Swarm had a four-point lead fairly late into the game, and they just couldn't hold on as the Grand Rapids drive come into Greensboro and defeat the Swarm, 123 to 118. With the win, the Grand Rapids drive go to 21 and 18 on the year. And with the loss, the Greensboro Swarm drop to 19, a correction of 13 and 25 on the season. The next broadcast of Greensboro Swarm basketball comes your way this coming Sunday, February 25th at 2 p.m. Eastern time as the Swarm take on the Long Island Nets right here on Facebook Live. Leading scorers of the game for the Grand Rapids Drive, 26 points by Jamel Morris for the Greensboro Swarm, 37 points for Damian Wilkins. Final score for the final time, Grand Rapids 123 and Greensboro 118. For all of us here in Greensboro, Brock Bowling saying so long from the Coliseum Fieldhouse. Thanks for watching Greensboro Swarm Basketball here on Facebook Live.